questions today we will discuss about the zone of tensional carries to proceed further we will discuss about the tendon first tendon tendon is a hard dense bony tissue forming the bulk of the tooth beneath the enamel tendon constitutes the largest portion of the tooth and consists of 70% inorganic matters 20% organic matters and 10% water and we and there is a diagrammatic representation of the structure of the dentine in this we have dentinal tubules around the dentinal tubule we have peritubular dentine and between the peritubular dentine we have intertubular dentine and that's all about the structure of the dentine dentinal dental caries a bacterial disease of the calcified tissue of the teeth characterized by demineralization of inorganic and destruction of the organic substance of the tooth how dentinal caries can occur caries from dentin uh, caries of dentin develop from the enamel caries when the lesion reaches the amylo dentinal junction first we have uh, enamel caries if we do not treat the enamel caries it progress to the dentinal caries and dentinal caries takes place zones of dentinal caries we have four zones of uh, dentinal caries we have zone of sclerosis we have zone of demineralization and we have zone of bacterial invasions and and we have zone of destruction zone of sclerosis in zone of sclerosis the sclerotic zone is located beneath and at the side of the carious lesion it is almost invariably present being broader beneath of the lesion than at the side and it is regarded as a vital reaction of the odontoblast to the irritations zone of sclerosis is the odontoblastic response to the irritations irritation there is irritations by the dentinal caries products like acids and the necrotide uh, acids and proteolytic action of the bacteria deposition uh, two pattern of mineralization take place first is deposition of peritubular dentin that occlude the tubules first from the odontoblast uh, peritubular dentin deposition starts which occur at the tubule of the odontoblast and occlude the tubules of the uh, odontoblast in the second mineral first appear within the cytoplasmic process of odontoblast and the tubule is obliterated by calcification of odontoblast process itself and the second the odontoblastic process is also occlude by the deposition uh, de of the cytoplasmic dentin in the odontoblast and there is dead track plus our presence how dead tracks occur dead tracks may be seen running th through the zone of sclerosis they are the result of death of odontoblast um, at an early stage in the carious process the empty dentinal tubules contain air and the remain uh, remains of the death odontoblastic process and such tubule can be obviously and not undergo sclerosis eubinoid layers layers of highly calcified material preventing the bacteria travel down the dead tracks formed by the pulpal end of the dead tracks and we have dead tracks above the dead tracks which is present in the pulp and um, above the dead tracks we have eubinoid layer it's the layer of the highly calcified materials which prevent the carious progress to the pulp and this is the a reactionary action by the pulp and next on we have zone of demineralizations in the demineralization zone the intertubular matrix is mainly affected by a wave of acid produced by the bacteria in the zone of bacterial invasions first we have the from upper to inside we have zone of bacterial invasion then we have zone of demineralization and the activities gone on the zone of invasions bacteria are present in this and they are are producing acid and the acid goes into the zone of demineralization and extract their activity it may be um bacteria okay uh, it may be stain yellowish brown as a result of diffusions of the other bacterial product interacting with the protein and the dentin 
and we have zone of bacterial invasions. In this zone, the bacteria extend down and multiply within the dentinal tubules, some of which may become occluded by the bacteria. There are always, however, many empty tubules lying among the tubules containing bacteria. The bacterial tubule lying among tubule containing bacteria, the bacterial invasion probably occur into two waves. In the uh, bacterial two wave, the first wave consisting of acidogenic organism, mainly lactobacilli, produce acid which diffuse ahead into the demineralized zones. And the second one, second wave is a uh, second wave of mixed acidogenic and proteolytic organism then attack the demineralized uh, matrix. First, we have the first wave in which we have only acidogenic organisms which carries their, pro, uh, their action or work by producing acid and the acid goes to the zone of uh, zone of demineralization and the demineralization begins in the second zone we have second wave we have mixed acidogenic and proteolytic organism as we know that uh, dentin is in living tissue and containing organic and inorganic both components so the uh, for destruction of the dentin we need proteolytic organism as well so for proteolytic actions so then second when we have mixed acidogenic and proteolytic then i'll take the demineralized matrix the peritubular dentin is first compressed followed by intertubular dentin resulting in epileptical uh, elliptical areas of proteolytic liquefaction uh, liquefi uh, liquefi liquefi for chyme the peritubular first compressed by uh, compressed followed by the intertubular dentin as the caries progress between the intertubular dentin and inter and intertubular dentin deposition starts which compress the peritubular dentin resulting in the elliptical area of proteolysis liquid which also known as liquefaction foci liquefaction foci run parallel to the direction of the tubule and may be multiplied giving a tubule a pitted appearance uh, liquefaction foci run parallel to the direction of tubules is a like uh, uh, perpendicular to the tensional tubules uh, no it's a parallel to the direction of the tensional tubules and and it gives the uh, give the tubules an repeated appearance and now we have zone of destruction in the zone of destruction the liquefaction foci enlarge and increase in number as the pro uh, process is continue so the there is a parallel uh, liquefaction to the dentinal tubule, liquefaction foci to the dentinal tubule. So there, um, and the destruction goes and goes. So the uh, liquefaction uh, foci enlarge, and these are horizontal to the dentinal tubules. This produces compression and distortion of adjacent dentinal tubules by the destruction process of the dentinal tubules. It's uh, enlarge. Uh, uh, liquefaction foci enlarges crack or cleft containing bacteria and necrotic tissue also appear at the right angle to the course of dentinal tubules and uh, as we discussed in the zone of bacterial invasion that the uh, uh, activities of bacteria and the dentinal tubules are parallel to each other so in the zone of destructions um, there is bacterial and necrotic uh, tissue appear at the right angle to the course of dentinal tubules and they are they are perpendicular to the dentinal tubule the action of the uh, enlargement the action of the destruction is uh, perpendicular to the dentinal tubules dentin there is a histo uh, histology histological picture showing of the decalcified section of the carious dentin showing tubule penetrated by a bacteria the tissue appeared to have a split at a right angle to the dentinal tubule and an incremental line of the growth. This is plain arca transverse cleft. Reactionary dentin, also known as tertiary dentin. This is a type of dentins which is produced by the odontoblast in the any stumulus. It is retained to the odontoblast. 
when the original odontoblast that make secondary dentin are responsible for the focal touch dentin formation rate of the formation is increased tubule remain continuous with the sec uh, secondary dentin thank you very much